I'm gonna call this Tip Tuesday at Stitch House Dallas. And today I'm gonna to be talking about something super important that we see all the time on machines coming in for service, and that is lint, dust, all the little things that start to make your machine kind of act up. And I have three different brands here, so I'm gonna go through kind of the basics of these three different brands. Um, the first one I'm gonna show you on is a Bernina because it's a little special. And then we're also gonna use a Brother and a Janome. And we're gonna talk about the mechanics of what's in the machine and how to clean it out properly and how to take care of your machine if you're at home and wondering what's going on, it's not stitching correctly. I'll show you some things to look for. So we're gonna start with Bernina. And today I'm using this awesome new case that just came in from um, It's So Emma. It's called Oh So Clean. They're not very expensive at all. They're $8.98. And I think, is our Mother's Day sale still happening? Oh yeah, Brittany's shaking her head. So then it's 15% off online. So it's a very inexpensive thing. It's a great way to keep the tools that you need um, in one place. And then the other thing that, um, I love about it is it's like quilting related. So I think it's super cute. So this is what I'm gonna use today. Um, a note about cleaning your machines. One thing to know is that you always wanna lift up the dust and the lint. You never wanna jam things down in. So canned air is a no-no with your machines. It also puts um, some moisture into your machine and areas you don't want moisture to be. So try to use something like this, a nice brush, um, a nice lint cloth. And these brushes are also really nice because they come in two sizes. So we'll use both of them. And um, they're really nice silicone grip brushes. So this is what we're gonna use today. Okay, so Brittany, you may wanna come over here so I don't uh, mess up the microphone. So first thing we're gonna do is the most important place to keep clean on your machine is your bobbin case area. So on a Bernina, this is a 790, we're gonna open up this drawer here and it presents itself to me. Here's my whole bobbin case area. Now, I love the Bernina because if you've never seen this before, it's a great, huge jumbo bobbin that holds 70% more thread than other um, bobbins. So um, this is a Bernina bobbin, specific to Bernina. I'll tell you about the other bobbins in a second, but they have sensors on them and it's a huge jumbo bobbin. It's really, really nice. So this is the bobbin case to a Bernina um, and it holds my bobbin, also large to fit that jumbo bobbin. And then we can also get into our hook system here. So Berninas have a front loading um, hook system. It's one solid piece, it's very durable. This is what makes a Bernina a Bernina. Um, but something that's really important to note about this is this is where I get little thread and lint. So what I wanna do is I don't wanna take canned air and blow it into this area and I don't wanna blow like with my mouth or anything. So I'm gonna take a really nice brush and I'm just gonna clean out, oh, this brush is really nice. I haven't used it prior to the video, we just got them in. So I'm gonna brush out this area here and then it came with, oh, here's the other brush. So there's like a long bristle brush and then there's this one, I like this one too. I'm just gonna brush out the area. Now, um, if you're a Bernina owner, you know to also oil this area as well. We have metal on metal and I'm gonna snap my hook back in so that I keep it nice and clean here. And this is always the hardest part. But it's Facebook Live, so. You get to see the, there we go. Nope. They want to see cleaning on the 880. Ooh, you want to, you want me to do it? Ginger. Asking? Ginger. That's a challenge. I'll see if I can get the 880 in. Okay, well, we'll pretend. There we go. <laughs> and then close this. Um, and then I'm going to stick my bobbin back in. And close it up. And that's, got some nice cleaning um, for the Bernina here. Um, the other thing in the kit too that I think is really important is you guys have these big beautiful screens. So I am a huge fan of keeping smudges off the screen. So it's got this cute little um, quilting looking um, screen thing, uh, screen, uh, <laughs> screen cleaner here and almost like a cloth for like you would have for your glasses and you could just clean your screen just like this. It's really nice. So I really love that. Uh, we'll go to the 880 next. Um, so next machine I'm gonna show you is a Brother machine. And um, it's a little bit different and I'll show you why. So uh, Bernina has a front load bobbin system where Brother has a top drop in bobbin. I'm taking off my scan mat here. We were just doing a really fun demo. 
Okay, so this is a dream machine that I'm using. So we're gonna get to our bobbin case in a different area, in a different way. So with the brother, or with the Bernina, we had a front load system. This is top drop and bobbin. So I take this little gray case and I'm gonna pull it off. And um, this is my needle plate attached, needle plate cover here. And I'm going to just set it aside. Now, I usually pull my bobbin out. This is a brother bobbin. It's a 15 class bobbin. Um, 15 class is a pretty uh, widely used bobbin. You'll also see this in the Janome that we're gonna um, clean out in just a second. So a 15 class bobbin, whether it's say Janome on the brand name or brother, that doesn't really matter. 15 class bobbin's a 15 class bobbin. So I'm gonna set that aside as well. So on my top drop in bobbin systems, I had these um, plastic bobbin cases that um, sit into the machine. There's a lot of questions I get about which bobbin case is the right one to use. There's ones that have um, green dots on the screw that's Loctite, um, and that's a whole nother road we can go down. But what's important to know that this is your bobbin case. A lot of people don't take this out enough. So often you wanna take this whole thing apart here. You could even take these screws off and really get back there and clean. And we want to use one of these brushes and lift up for any lint that we have in this area and just keep it really nice and clean in there. You can see I'm definitely getting some lint uh, going, going in this area. So you wanna make sure it's nice and clean. Um, sometimes we take out people's bobbin cases and they almost like spring out because there's so much lint down here. Something else that's cool is that anytime if you lose like a needle tip, if you break a needle, sometimes you'll find the needle tips down here in the bottom. So it's really nice to um, be able to get in there and clean out. So when I'm done with that, oh, I wanna show you one more thing. Another thing to do before you put your bobbin case back in is think of this, this as like um, looking, checking over your car one time before you get in it to go for a long drive. Before you start a new project, it's really important to check this bobbin case. Something that can happen over time is if you break a needle or the needle gets caught up, you can start to get little tiny hole punctures in this bobbin case. Um, I see one kind of right here and I'm trying to kind of pick off the excess, um, but you don't want holes or burrs on this bobbin case. It can cause issues, um, thread breakage, thread shredding, things like that. So having a nice clean bobbin case is very important for proper use. Um, this is a wear and tear part on a machine. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes these do need to be replaced. So this is another really good tip um, when you're cleaning your machine, check the bobbin case. Bobbin case just sits right back in. It's really simple. And then I never put my bobbin in um, until I put my cover back on. That's just a personal preference, but I like to use the quick set bobbin mechanism. So then I'm going to, just like the letter P, drop it in, bring it around, cut it off, and we are in business. So then I'm gonna use my, I'll lock my machine and I'll use my little um, screen cleaner here and just wipe everything down and keep my machine nice and pretty. So that's how we clean it on a brother. Any questions so far? No? Okay, we'll move on to the Janome next. So this one I'd say for last because this one's gonna be my most fun to clean. We have the most area to be able to get in here and clean, so I'll show you why I love this. So, well, let's unlock it. So this is the plate for my um, Janome. Again, we have a top drop-in bobbin, and we have that same quick set bobbin that you saw on the brother here. So to get my plate off, there's no button or anything like that. I'm going to just simply tell my screen to lift my plate up, and there it comes. So now, as a quilter, I can see this whole area here. Whereas with the, um, with the brother, I can still get to that area, but I've gotta unloosen some screws. On the Luminaire, the whole bobbin, uh, or the whole needle plate does come off as well, which is a nice new feature. But I really love being able to get into this whole area. So I have the same thing, a 15 class bobbin on this machine, which is the same as that I had on my brother. And then I also have this nice black bobbin case. You notice it looks slightly different on a Janome, which that's fine, but it's still for a 15 class bobbin. We can run into the same issues on this that we can on the Brother. So you always wanna make sure that if you um, have broken a needle or you're having any issues, check the top of the bobbin case area here and see if you have any little punctures or anything like that. So just like I did on the other machines, I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna clean out this area here, make sure there's no dust or anything. Um, another nice thing to do is if you have a little vacuum with an attachment, you can vacuum in this area. But if you are diligent and just using this brush, um, you know, between every few hours of sewing and getting out all of your little lint, you'll um, be just fine and 
probably not end up with too much buildup in there. Okay, so to put everything back together, I've checked my bobbin case. I'm gonna drop it in. And I'm making everything look way harder than it is usually. And then I'm going to just move my uh, top thread out of the way. Watch how easy this pops on. And now I'm going to drop my bobbin in here, bring it through my tension, cut it off, and stick my cover back on, and I'm ready to go. So I hope that um, showing you this cool little cleaning kit was really helpful. I really love it. I think this would be a great thing to throw in like a retreat bag or something and just have a really nice brush kit with multiple size brushes um, and a cloth to keep your screen clean. It's very important to keep your machine clean. It helps prevent a lot of future issues and it's a good way to take care of them on a consistent basis by cleaning them out, um, brushing them out, and wiping things down. If you have any questions, please let us know and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.